Hello friends, uh, my name is Hilva Oza and uh, today I am here on my channel with a new trending topic called as Brain uh, Gate Technology. Uh, I'd love to explain you something about Brain Gate Technology. So, it is a mind to movement system that allows a quadriplegic man to control a computer using his thoughts. The system is to help those who have lost their control over the limbs or other bodily functions such as patients with spinal cord injury to operate various gadgets such as TV, computer, lights, fans, etc. Uh, it monitors brain activity in the patient and converts the intention of the user into the computer commands. Uh, this can also be used to control a robotic arm or a cursor on the screen. Uh, the development of BrainGate was something like that. Uh, a BrainGate is a brain implant system developed by the biotech company named Cyberkinetics in the year 2003 in conjunction with the Department of Neuroscience at the Brown University. Uh, I'd like to explain you the working principle of BrainGate technology. Uh, the principle of BrainGate technology system is that which intact with brain function, neural signals generated are interpreted by the system and a cursor is shown to the user on the computer screen that provides an alternate BrainGate pathway. The user can use the cursor to control the computer commands just as a mouse is used. Uh, now there are different types of brain computer interface that is BCI but I would like to explain the broader two that is one way BCI and two way BCI. One way BCI are the computers either accept commands from the brain or sends the signal to it and the two way BCI explains as allows the brain and external devices to exchange the information simultaneously. Working of this brain gate technology is like the brain gate neural interface device is a proprietary brain computer interface that consists of an interneural signal sensor and external processors. The sensor consists of a tiny chip which is containing 100 microscopic electrodes that detects the brain cell uh, electric activity. The chip is implanted on the surface of brain in the motor cortex area that controls the movement of a body. The external processors convert neural signals into an output signal control and the user can use, uh, the user can use that control to command the computer. In the pilot version of this device, <clears throat> a cable connects the sensor to an external processor in a car that contains lots of computers. The computers translate brain activity and create the communication output using custom decoding software. Uh, there are many applications of brain gate technology. Some of them are in classifications of EEG signals, in multimedia communication, in evaluation of spike detection algorithms, actuated control of mobile robot by human EEG as a brain controlled switch for asynchronous control and in evaluating the machine learning algorithms. There are many advantages of uh, brain gate technology. Uh, I would like to list some of them which are like controlling remote devices, making and receiving telephone calls, accessing the internet, controlling the lights, like making on and off, controlling the robotic arm for various activities, watching and controlling the television, using PCs, locking and locking the doors, and motorized wheelchair. But as we know, every uh, device has a disadvantage also. So there are some of them for this brain gate technology also. Uh, some of them are, it's very expensive firstly. The second thing, it is a risky surgery for the person. And the third is like, uh, still it is not evolved yet, so it's not wireless. And it's difficulty in adaptation and learning for the user who is already uh, suffering from a paralysis, so it would be very difficult for him to understand this technology. Limitations in information to transform the rate. As we know that the latest technology is 20 bits per minute. But there are many future scopes about it. Like current new advances include a second generation interface software M Star Power controller that will enable the users to perform a wide variety of daily activities without assistance of a technician also. It's, uh, the other future scope is that it will be a smaller wireless device. The user will have an improved control over the respiratory system and controlling the limb with muscle stimulation or robotics. I would like to conclude my this topic by saying the in that the invention of brain gate is such a revolutionary in medical field. The remarkable breakthrough offers hope to the people who are paralyzed will one day be able to independently operate the artificial limbs, computers or wheelchairs. Thank you so much and do like, share and subscribe to my video.